<laughs> what was dentistry like as a course? It was not difficult in terms of content. It was very just difficult in terms of you had to really be on the ball constantly. It wasn't the type of course where you could kind of just do the lectures, leave it to the last minute, revise and pass, mm -hmm. like my previous degree was. <laughs> you had to obviously you were seeing patients throughout mm. so you had to really be on the ball in terms of your knowledge um every day essentially so mm. i would say because of that it was quite difficult the content itself i don't think was hard but it was just hard it was a marathon and it was constant constant you had to book mm. in your own patients you know things like that but i did absolutely love the course to be fair mm. how have you found medicine as a course now that you finished medicine i really quite like the fact that we had this whole preclinical and clinical divide. We started seeing patients more independently towards the later years of the course. I know you were seeing patients independently right from the beginning. Yeah, well, essentially from second year. From second year, yeah, which yeah. we'd consider that really early. We had a couple placements in the hospital GP setting, I think from second and a little bit of first year. Other than that, it was quite science heavy for the first two years. Yeah. In the first year, we learned about the normal functioning of the human body. And then in the second year, they started introducing what happens when the body fails, essentially. So that's when you get diseases. That sounds interesting. After my preclinical years, I did an extra degree focusing on the cardiovascular system, which is the heart and blood vessels. And that was just so different from how we were learning medicine in the first few years because it was very science heavy. I went to a different university to do this degree. I did consider working in the lab even after graduation. Really? So I thought I'd want to do academic medicine. <clears throat> yeah. But that degree kind of showed me that it's not what I want to do and actually I do prefer the clinical stuff yeah um, absolutely it was enjoyable i feel like every year was different so when i think about summarizing my course it's it's just quite difficult yeah this is all <laughs> different I understand. as the course is quite tough and it requires a lot of hours of your time what extracurricular activities did you do in terms of societies at university or even just hobbies outside of university in order to maintain your sanity? Maintaining sanity is definitely important when you're doing a course like either one of them, yeah. Um, in terms of societies, probably the one that I was, well definitely the one I was most involved with was actually, funnily enough, the one where we met, which was um, Alpine Society. Yeah. Essentially just take trips every three, four weeks around the country um, for a weekend, go hiking and stuff. So Insert photos. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. I like, I like that, I like that. Um, yeah, so that's essentially what I spent most of my time doing, just going on those trips. Mm. It was nice to kind of just very physically get away from mm. uni, get away from London and almost stop thinking about teeth yeah. for a little while. Yeah, so um, that was <laughs> amazing. Yeah, exactly. Um, and also outside of uni, I guess my volunteering again, I did uh, little bits here and there, mm. but... Um, that's essentially it, really. Yeah. yeah. How about yourself in terms of extracurricular stuff? As you said, it was so nice to just be away from that hectic environment with just so much responsibilities and just kind of being away and appreciating nature. So as you guys know, if you're following me on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, then make sure you not subscribe. You follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Something Lots has to happen. <laughs> Let's click again. I don't know, I like it. <laughs> if you guys are following me on Instagram, you know that I'm really big on mindfulness. Alpine was about being in a green space, just being in nature, away from electronics. Yeah, because you hardly ever got signal in some of the places, like Lake District. Yeah, we never got and signal. it was just really nice to declutter, and I really enjoyed that. Even if it was just like once every few months, I really look forward to that. We lived in huts. Yeah. Some of us showered with cold water. Personally, I chose not to shower during those days because. <laughs> well, I'm glad you told me now. <laughs> now that <laughs> now we're not on the trips anymore. Jesus. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't shower half the time either. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is just too too gross sometimes. <laughs> oh my goodness! In terms of hobbies, I tended to do a lot outside of university. So just like with my illustrations. Um, and also photography. I worked as an event photographer for half the time that I was at university. 
which for me was just pursuing my hobbies whilst also getting paid, whilst also networking and just having fun really. That was quite a big part of my extracurricular activities at university actually. Yeah, I can and imagine. And our fellow friend here, Tam, is also a photographer. <laughs> She's, she's not wrong, she's not wrong. <laughs> no, just, just for fun mainly. I never actually did any commercial work Hi, like you, Tams, but... Canon DSLR camera. <laughs> <laughs> Soon to be upgraded with my first dental paycheck. <laughs> so excited, I was so excited. Oh my gosh, so how were you planning to spend your first dental paycheck? I always knew I wanted to do something big and uh, yeah, I want to buy a new camera. I've had this trusty one over here <laughs> for... Um, about eight years now, or nine years, yeah, a long time. I had it for a long time. Um, so I, it's just, it's still it's still doing me good, you know, but I just, there's some things that it's falling short a little mm. bit, like low light photography and stuff. So I want to get a new upgrade mm. soon. Very excited. That's really nice. End of the month, two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Then we can make another video. <laughs> yeah. Spending our first paycheck. I go. haven't really spent my first paycheck. You not? I really wanted to buy a gimbal. So that, oh wow yeah, yeah i saw one it was quite good quality and i added it to basket on amazon and then someone told me that there was a better one or the company wasn't great or something so it broke my heart but i still do want a gimbal It'd make your vlogs very cinematic if you guys want me to get a gimbal then please watch all my ads that are gonna <laughs> one should appear in five four three two one <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to sure, ask? sure. I feel like I've been asking too many questions. It's a girl thing. <laughs> yeah. I am lost on what number this is. <laughs> too many questions, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't know what number this is, but let's go anyway. Um, what is your advice for prospective medical students? My advice is for medicine know why you want to study medicine or why you want to become a doctor i know there's this whole big culture where people are trying to find out other people's answers to why medicine but really i think it helps when it comes from within and you really Definitely. sit down and explore on your own um rather than kind of doing medicine because someone has told you that it's good or you think that it's respect the ball was it yeah is that the word yeah that's, that's, that's good that works <laughs> or it makes money whatever it is just sit down go and do your work experiences and just find out if it's really for you and the reason i'm saying this is because in medicine there's going to be times where you don't feel so motivated or you're a bit stressed because of it or studying is difficult and when you remind yourself well personally i found that if i remind myself why i wanted to do medicine in the first place that motivates me to just get up sit at my desk and just work that's a big wood pigeon hi <laughs> yeah sorry about the interruption yeah i think you hit on a really good point because i also think that during like interviews and stuff or the medical interviews they can really tell if the answer you're giving is one you mean or one you've just rehearsed mm. i really do believe like exactly yeah. what you said they can really tell so having your own reason mm. it doesn't matter what it is you know even I think even if it's like partly money motivated, it's not something you should be ashamed of because, you know, doctors and dentists work extremely hard, but they do have a stable, mm. you know, income. Yeah. You shouldn't open with, I want to make money, but you shouldn't shy away from the fact that they do make good money mm. because it's true, you know, yeah. um, and it's just, it's obviously not your reason for it, but it's not something you should mm. be like, oh, I don't care about the money, you know, because mm. it is a factor, I guess. That's interesting you mentioned that, because at my interview, certainly, I had prepared my why medicine answer. Yeah. I'd, I'd read it to myself so many times I could recite off by heart. But when they actually asked me why medicine, it just came from the heart. Whatever script I had just went out the window That's when I just poured out my heart and was just like, this is really why I want to do medicine. And it's probably why you got the place. It's probably why you got the place, <laughs> like, because it was actually, yeah, from the heart. You've been working as a dentist for a month now? Yeah, just under a month. How yeah. are you finding it? I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I think our supervisors have been really mindful of the fact that we obviously finished uni early cause, cause mm. of, because of COVID, and they've really eased us in, which has been amazing. And I'm just re I'm really enjoying it. I'm mm. really enjoying it. I've not been paid yet. So <laughs> it says a lot. It says a lot that I'm still really enjoying it, yeah. you know, um, seeing patients, getting back into the routine of kind of being mm. a clinician rather than just sort of rote studying and passing exams, yeah. you know. Um, 
yeah, I absolutely love it so far. Thank you. Mm. If we make another video at the end of our foundation years, then yeah, maybe we can yeah. see We're how just things like halfway change. Through halfway through then, six month review, yeah. Because you've not been working for that long. It's been no, weeks. exactly. It's been a few weeks. Um, and sometimes, if there are some stressful things, it might take a little bit of time for it to catch up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The one thing I didn't <laughs> expect, um, which I'll probably add, is um, we have to reflect on absolutely everything that sounds nice everything it's it's nice but it's also emotionally exhausting because like you'll basically sit down with reception mm. for two hours talk with them they'll discuss things with you and you have to go reflect about it mm. and to be fair you do learn things but sitting down and reflecting on absolutely everything i've written i've written 26 27 reflections in three weeks in three weeks wow and yeah. how long did they have to be <laughs> um <laughs> It depends on the subject. The long, the weekly ones are probably about five, six paragraphs. Mm. Um, but the ones about the tutorials, you probably get away with like two, three paragraphs. Yeah. I'm quite a reflective person. So yeah. like, I like to kind of put my all into it. But and you're still finding it quite a bit much. It is a lot of work. Yeah. But at the same time, I definitely feel like I'm getting a lot of benefit yeah. out of it. So um, yeah. that's probably the, mm. the hardest part or the most kind of... Part. But you grow from reflecting. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, quite exactly. big on encouraging people to reflect. Yeah. Oh, you really do. Life. Um, and I do feel like, if I'm being totally truthful, work has been so hectic that, especially days where I'm working 12.5 hour shifts and my commute is quite long as well, Jeez. I feel like I'm not having as much time as I would like to reflect. To reflect. Yeah, it makes me happy that you guys get the opportunity to do that yeah no we're definitely lucky in that way we don't have 12 and a half hour shifts so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another difference maybe we can make a video about working life as a dentist versus yeah. working life as a doctor yeah junior doctor absolutely you know, both doctors it, it feels weird that i'm saying you're a dentist and i'm a doctor when we're <laughs> but for the last five years we've both been students like, <laughs> 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 yeah. it is weird it is weird uh, yeah but. yeah maybe we can do that if yeah, you guys want good. that then make sure you leave a comment below yeah to let definitely. us know we'll and if you do this. have any questions about anything dentistry related my social will be there somewhere so you can yeah. Send me a message and yeah. I'll be happy to It'll be help here, you out. here, 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 here. That, that many socials, but yeah. <laughs> Copy and paste. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our video. If you loved it, then please give the video a thumbs up. And subscribe. Thumbs. And subscribe. Yes. <laughs> Make sure you guys hit that post notification bell. Bling. And you will see us in a future video. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs>